Hey, what's going on, guys? Where we left off, we went to the tiny little town of Lothering. Met some new people, like... Apparently, I spelled Duncan wrong, and I said Dunan. <laughs> so, there's that. Uh, we met Sted, this one-sided conversation giant man. Liliana, a priestess who is actually some sort of an assassin. And Sandal and Bodan Fedic, who is basically our character's seller person. And now, we are leaving once again. Onto the road. Let's see. Alistair needs to level. Yes. I need to level. Uh, I want I want my dog to be with me. I want my dog to be with me. Mm, and... Indeed. Okay, so we got the people that are friendly. This isn't gonna be complicated at all. Hmm. Let's just Sten. Sten. I don't. I don't know about Sten. Let's just go. Let's do this. All right. Where are we going now? Ooh, things lit up. Okay. Let's see. Brazilian forest. Red cliff. We need to go there. Soldiers Pass. Uh, Frostback Mountains. And Denerum. Uh, since we're right here, might as well go to the Brazilian outskirts. It's like right there. And then, and then we'll go down. Okay, come on. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah! Why do you look like this game? Oh, here we go. Hold, outsider. You may be of my kind, but you are not Dalish. Why are you here? Uh, let's see. This is how you greet one of your own. Well, apparently she made it pretty clear that I am not one of her own people. Uh, I have business with your leader, actually. And what business is that? Uh, I will tell the keeper and no one else. I have no time for your attitude. Uh, I will tell it. I will tell to the bear bishop. I'm a great warden because I, I can't speak I right now. I will bring you to the keeper then. And he can decide if your business is worthwhile. I got my two best friends and my dog, and we're going on an adventure. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that part. Hmm. I see we have guests. I am a guest here. <coughs> oh, down boy. And a hound amongst them. As if we haven't had enough problems with such creatures. Well, what's that Who supposed to are mean? are these strangers, Nithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus, Mithra, you may return to your post. Yeah, get out of here. Manuvinen, Keeper. Done with your sass. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian, the Keeper of this clan. It's guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Uh, I am, my name is Samuel. Pleasure to meet you. If you came to bring news of the blight in the south, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. I don't see what, what's yes, happening. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. You... This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. All right. This better not be some sort of weird cannibalism thing. Uh, well, there's people covered in blood, so I'm sort of right. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago. As is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest. But we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in the Oh, there's werewolves now. Good, they good. You know, I was wondering Though if there was some the sort of evil creature that I wouldn't be facing. Done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I'm 
am truly sorry. I had to smack your bald head. Ah, uh, fine. Uh, is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... That would be no trivial task to retrieve. Do I look like... <laughs> do I look like one of your errand boys? I mean, come on. I'm, I'm the main character here. I look awesome. And I have a dog. A war dog at that. I am good at non-trivial tasks. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. Well, you're not the main character of the game, so I I sent will some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. Then don't. I'll find this with a thing for you. Wait, have you considered taking out the hell? If I have you get yeah, first one. I must Don't warn want to sound you like a jerk. more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. All right, I should go then. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. And we are off. Right, we are in the forest. Gotta look for giant evil wolf creature. And kill it. Sounds easy enough. And I think I found the werewolves. Oh dear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Kick him. Kick him. Kick him now. Kick him. Kick him. Die! Die! Come on! Come on! Ha! Kick it in the werewolf mask. Come on. Alright. Slice him up. Slice him up. Oh, well, Alistair died. I didn't even notice that. Now it's better than later. Die, you. Slash. Come on. Stabby, slashy, stabby, kicking the balls. Slash, slash, and slash. And we're good here, right? We're good here, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Light wolf. Light wolf. Great. So the blight is now affecting animals. Awesome. Oh boy. Great. Werewolf. Swift runner. <laughs> you would scratch yourself. The watch wolves have spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. Another of the Gaelish come to put us in our place. Come to make us pay for our attack. Uh, speak? I thought werewolves were savage beasts. We are beasts, but we are no longer simple and mindless. Let that thought chill your spine. It's chilling. You speak to Swift Runner. I lead my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. But, but. Tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. Uh, what? Uh, out of my way unless you tell me where we're seeking. I would prefer to talk to you. I mean no harm. Was it not Safrian who sent you? <sighs> he wishes only our destruction. Never to talk. But I want to talk. I want to talk. Uh, is there no way this can be resolved peacefully? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Long past. There will be no peace between the elves and we. Are cursed. Uh, uh, just, just, uh, but why do you hate the Dalish so much? I need to know. You know nothing, do you? 
nothing of us, and even less of those you serve. You are a fool, and we are done talking. What? Run from the forest while you can. Run to the Dalish and tell them they are doomed. Done it. Bite him in the balls. I... I don't want to fight, but I, neither can I retreat. Hmm. I do not wish to fight you, but our enemy has sent you to us, and now you force our hand. I didn't force anything, boy. Hey, come, brothers and sisters. Swift Runner calls you to battle. Drive this invader from our midst. Don't you bite him in the balls. I am afraid for no creature. Defend yourself. Done. Done him. Snap him in the face. Get in the ball. Oh, potion. Oh my god, I'm being massacred. Well. Enough. The forest has eyes of its own, and it shall deal with you. You have been warned. Run away. That's right. Run. Oh, he's walking away this time. Oh my god. That that was too much. Oh my god, it's an end. So you can get off my back. It's an end from Lord of the Rings. It's an evil tree. Need to kill it. Need to kill it. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I'll get on it. Stab it. Stab it. That was easy. Oh my god. That was scary. I can't trust trees anymore. I cannot trust tree. Oh god. What manner of beast be thee that comes before this elder tree? Oh great, a trying tree monster that rhymes. Uh just, uh you're not gonna attack me, are you? Ah, thou speakest of the others, how filled they are with hate. I apologize on their behalf. They cannot control their fate. Allow me a moment to welcome thee. I am called the Grand Oak, sometimes the Elder Tree. Wow. And unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? Uh, 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 what? A, a boon? What? Why? Why do you speak in rhymes? I do not know. Why dost thou not? Thy words seem plain, a mundane lot. Perhaps a poet's soul's in me. Does that make me a poetry? <laughs> uh, poetry. Yes, I get. It, it was but a simple jest, a jibe. To entertain my guests. Pronounce jib. What's this boon? What's the boon? I have but one desire to solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. An acorn? All I have is my being, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out. Yet I shall die if left without. Oh, it's like it's baby. Uh, I can look very well. I will help you. Go to the east to find this man. I shall await. Do what thou can. Aw. Thank you. I found mist. Okay, what's on the other side of this? That was odd. Did you feel that? We got turned around somehow. We're right back where we started. The first part of the path. Oh, great. Oh, good. Evil fog thing. It turns us around. Awesome. Please. Help. Listen. I am not... The mindless beast I appear to be. Uh, what? You, what happened to you? I mean, this werewolf did not try and attack us. It's just kind of like hurt or something. What is going on? 
I am cursed. Turn to this creature. The curse is held and burns in me. I fled into the forest. The werewolves, they took me in. But I had to return. I had to. Careful. These werewolves might have laid a trap for us or something. You never know. You are an elf, but not one of the Dalish. I was until my character change. Have you seen my clan? Uh, your keeper Zathrian sent me here. What? What's going on? What's going on? The keeper sent you? Then you seek with a fang. Yeah, I do. Have you seen him? I have, but it is not what you think. But there is no time to explain. You must listen. My name is Andalina. My husband. Oh my God, that's a wolf girl. He is called Athras. Please, you must bring him. A message. Oh, the poor woman, she's in such pain. The scarf I wear. Bring it to him. <laughs> Tell him I love him. Tell him <laughs> I am dead, and with the gods, I beg you. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I can't see. I can't take this position Thank of pain. You. Thank you. I only want him to be at peace. He is a good man. Oh, the pain. The curse is fire in my blood. Please hand it for me. Hand it quickly. I, I can't, I have to, I have to, I, I, I need, I, I, I can't, I can't leave her like this, I gotta. Oh my god, what did I just do? Gods. Bless you. God, I just, I just can't let someone suffer like that, that's just... Uh, I, I just can't. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not a terrible person. I'm sorry. Sue me. Okay, some of them just... I can't do that. Camp. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, where did this guy come from? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Not a werewolf and not a spirit even. What are the woods coming to? Uh... Uh, hold on, human. I have some questions for you. Questions, sir. questions. Always questions. They say it was questions that made me mad. Will you do the same for you? Mm, Ask a question not. and you'll get a question, but give an answer and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. You're quite mad, obviously. No, that is not a question. And if it be an answer, it be an answer to a question I've not asked. Have you no sense for the rules? Come now. Will you play by the rules or not? Ah, fine. Then would you like to ask me a question? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Uh, okay, fine. Do you have the Grand Oaks acorn? <sighs> Suddenly it all becomes clear. You hear that talking tree there? It all makes sense now. As a matter of fact, yes. I do have that tree's acorn. I stole it and it was easy. Silly tree should have locked it up tighter. If you want it, you'll have to trade me for it. And nothing from that silly tree. No leaves or branches or anything. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. Do you want to ask me another question, then? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Now, what shall be the first? Oh, yes. What is your name? <laughs> Oh, this just reminds me of uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. What is capital of Syria? Uh -huh. So you claim. They sent you, didn't they? But you're too tricky, and you're trying to fool me. 
Well, I'm on to you, just so you know. What? That's but it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Uh... How do I enter the center of the forest? It's where the wolfmen have their lair, but the trees will block the path. There's a way to fool the trees, of course. Trees are thick, wooden things, after all. Easily fooled, if you know how. And do you know how to fool them? Oh my, no, that's quite a question. I think that answer deserves something a little extra first, don't you? I stole something from an oak tree some time ago, and it won't stop pestering me for it back. Would you be so good as to turn it into firewood or something equally dead? What? what? Are you talking about the rhyming oak? You know of it? I'm not gonna good. kill that, that thing. That makes this much easier. Yes, that's the one. I, I am not gonna kill some oak tree because you asked me to. It's up to you. Yes, indeedy. Your choice. Time to move on now. Ah, fine. Oh, I see. You're going to report to them now, are you? Fine. Goodbye. He asked me to leave! You crazy hermit! Landmark? What? What, what does that even mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't mean to what do What do that. you need? No, never mind. Uh, let's see. You're a hound. What? What does that mean? Uh, okay. My dominance is now active. Alright, I don't know what that means. Tree stump. Here, someone has dug a hole beneath the tree stump. Leading to a tiny, filthy cave of sorts. Now, let's see, Hermit sleeps in there. How? You're also squeezed a small, chubby. Not, not chubby. Cubby hole within the hole. In the body of the trunk itself, it is filled with mud, twice and other debris, okay? Hold on, you. That's private property. That's an old man's home, that is. Keep out. Keep out. <laughs> and I'm gonna reach into the cubby hole. Put your hand in the cubby hole. You find something and grab onto it, okay? Feel something else moving around in the mud and stabs you in the hand painfully as you yank it out. You're a robber, is what you are. They sent you to Did I just get poisoned or something? They won't get away with this. Oh, great. The hermit knows magic. Oh, and he's no. summoned demons. He's summoned demons! Okay. Now you kill hermit. Kill hermit. Oh, God. Frozen. 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 Ow. So... Stab him in it the is done. Woo! All right, sweet. Let's see. Uh, magic staff. Green on the garnet. That's it. That's all I get. Just take all. Take all. Let's try this thing again. There's nothing on trunk. Okay. Does that mean I have the? I can't do that. The acorn. Hold on, Lillian is also a rogue. Open the thing, girl. Can't do that. Girl! Hmm. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, alright, I have it. Sweet. Time to go back to the tree! My acorn is still gone, so I pray to thee. Hast thou any news for me? Uh, is this the acorn you seek? My joy soars to new heights in thee. I like that, but eh, whatever. I am reunited with my seed. As I promised, hear it be. I hope its magic pleases thee. Keep this branch of mine with thee, and pass throughout the forest free. I wish thee <laughs> well, Me and Liliana my doing the same mortal pose. friend. Thou brought my sadness to an end. May the sunlight find you. Thy days be long. Thy winter's kind. And thy roots be strong. Alright, sweet. Oh, my little doggy leveled up. Alright, let's see. What did I get? Uh, no, 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 no. Oak branch. Oh, great. It's a staff. And I don't have Morgan with me. Crap. Hopefully I can just get through it without, you know, 
having to go all the way back to the village and getting Morgan coming all the way back. That would suck. All right, here it is. It's go time. I did it. The ghost, the Great Oaks branch allows you to pass through the barrier like a boss and the fog disappears. Mm. Yes. The forest has not been vigilant enough. Still you come. You are stronger than we could have anticipated. The Dalish chose well, but you do not belong here, outsider. Leave this place. Oh, great. He brought it back up. I want to know why you attacked me the last time. <sighs> you are sent by the treacherous Dalish to kill with a fang. I will not stand by and allow that to happen. What, what do you mean? Why do you call the Dalish treacherous? You attack them. And they deserve no less. You are an intruder in our home. You come to kill, as all your kind do. That's racist. We have learned this lesson well. Here, Witherfang protects us. Here we learn our names and our beloved. We will defend Witherfang and this place with our lives. Oh, well, great. I'm gonna fight him again. Balls. Balls. Stab him. Stab him. Come on. Yeah, bro. Oh, great. I can't kill him. Oh, what the frick? What the frick? And then there's just that one werewolf in the background. And he's gone. What the? What? What? That, that was weird. Pile of bones. We are invaded. Intruders have deceived their way into the forest's heart. Fall back to the ruins. Protect the lady. What lady? What lady? Okay. I think this is it. Werewolf City. Kind of flea heaven, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> flea heaven. I got it. <laughs> it's a dog joke. Alright, we're in. Time to find this Witherfang, whatever its name is. Flowers? For me? Oh, they smell lovely. And there's something so familiar about them. These, these were my mother's flowers. She would sprinkle the dry petals amongst her clothes. Oh, they smell just like her. Thank you so much. I just thought you would like them because they had Andraste in the name, so... Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Plus 15. Awesome! <laughs> Is that a ghost child? Mommy? Mommy, no matter, son. Uh, are you looking for your mother? I can help you find her. Uh, just calm down. What are you saying? And got oh bastards. boy, dead people. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off the back? Gonna kill dead people again. Yeah. Slap. Yeah. Cut you. Because like two. You bone now. Yes. I have saved the day by killing dead people. What is this? Alright. This elaborate artifact has a gem like structure that contains what appears to be blood, flesh, I'm, I'm sorry, fresh, and liquid. Even after all this time, the gem is vibrating slightly. Show the artifact to the other party members. We have little knowledge of the magic used by the elves of our Lathan's time. The Magisters of Tevinta were more interested in subjugating the elves than recording their history. As it is, I would hazard a guess that the object you're holding is a form of phylactery, oh, meant to hold living essence, perhaps even a spirit of some kind. Is that blood in there? Whose, I wonder? 
You think it will be all dried up after so long? There must be magic involved. Obviously. What would you like to do? Touch the gem. Because I don't want to try and open it if things are just going to explode or bosses are going to pop out. The gem is warm to the touch and your mind immediately begins swimming with visions, images, and memories from a life that is not your own. Okay. The presence in the gem is at first alarmed when it senses your touch. It recoils in fear and the images that rush in your mind are ones of imprisonment and loneliness. Who are you? What are you? The presence thinks quickly, bewildered. Finally, it decides that you are indeed real and not a product of its fevered imagination. More energies flash through your mind. Time that has time that the presence has been trapped within the life gem. Time where the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. The presence has no name. It can remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage in glittering silver armor. But this was a long time long ago remembered as if through a fog uh let's see how did you end up in this gem you see images of a great battle elves and humans both screaming and attempting to flee from some terrible presence what that presence was is blurry and lost to time the presence fled the destruction by using the life drum escaping its body it was sure that someone would come to rescue it but no one did not until now how do I know you're not a spirit trying to trick with me? This is a very good question. You see a faint image of a mage holding a life gem and chanting in an unknown language. There are no other memories. Presence does not know how to prove this to you. Is there anything I can do for you? There are no images for a time, only a feeling of kneeling no loneliness, a sense of being trapped, and a mind that is only tenuously present any longer. Presence could give you what knowledge remains within it of how to become an arcane warrior. You are no mage yourself, but you could teach such knowledge to those who are. I like this so far. This is all the presence has left to offer any longer. The last of its memories. In return, the presence asks only one thing from you. Oblivion. Uh, you could teach me to be an arcane warrior? The images that the presence sends are desperate. It will give you what memories it has. Whoever follows the Arcane Warrior's path will be the last of its order. Yeah, it seems pretty fair. The images become tinged with desperation. The presence cannot remember where the altar is, but it knows the life gem must be placed on it. Approach the stone altar with the gem. Okay, it's a life gem near the altar. The presence becomes overcome with emotion. Could its endless nightmare finally be over? The images that are sent to your mind depict a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? The presence is ready to teach you now. Yes. Wait. Yes. Give me the memories. The memories flood into your mind. There are hazy and incomplete, but enough for any mage to gather a few of the talents that arcane warriors once possessed. Now, the presence asks that you keep your promise, release it from its eternal prison. Place the artifact on the stone altar. The last images of the presence are ones of joy. Oblivion will be a welcome relief. Wow. Okay. Learn something called Arcane Warrior. I don't know if I can use it or not, but hey, that sounds freaking awesome. There's no obvious order to this jumble of miscellaneous. Uh, a small class of violence with me. Take the vial. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, crap. What the fuck is this thing? Red thing? Just stab it. Stab it a lot of times. Stab it until it can't move and then keep stabbing it because this thing is evil. Juliana, that two, bam. Two, my doggy. Take one, two. Oh, two. Take it. And he's dead. You have no skill. Only get brain. Yeah. Oh, dang, girl. You just killed that thing like it was nobody's yeah. business. Roll of paper. That's all I got from him. Piece of freaking paper. 
Finally, I made it. That took forever. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. Then why'd you attack me in the first place? I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parlay? We're talking right now, aren't we? So talk. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm, provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. Uh, just take, just take me to her. Just take me to her. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the fade itself to see you pay. <sighs> This is very unnerving. Is that Swift Runner right there? What's up, dude? Still trying to kill me, I see? Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'll take you all out. Let's go. Let's go. Slash you all to pieces. Chop the What? Um. Why is there a naked lady controlling werewolves? I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the lady of the forest. Uh, uh, I must admit I was expecting another werewolf. No, that I am not. If I could have revealed myself sooner, I would have. Do not listen to him, lady. He will betray you. We must attack him now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. Then the time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift Runner's behalf. He struggles with his nature. Uh. You lead the werewolves, do you? Those whom I have helped are very grateful for what I have done for them. I offer them guidance, but I do not command them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. Uh, like what? It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. Oh, great. Great. The same curse great. that Zathrian's awesome. own people now suffer. The guy that sent us on this quest to remove the curse is the same guy that made the curse. Awesome. And booty. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. This is screwed up. Uh, so Zathrian cursed them. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of our great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained, pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady, you gave me peace. I showed Swift Runner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage, and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. Okay. Why did you ambush the Dalish then? For revenge? 
In part. Well, that's just not we helpful seek to at end all. The, curse. the crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. So you're forcing him to we remove the curse. We the curse to his people, so okay. we must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. So you would think. Um, I'll, I'll bring him. I might as well just... Just to get these two... Tell just him talk if he it out. Refuses. If I can. I will ensure that with a fan if not, is somebody's found. gonna die. He will never cure his clan. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Okay. Whew! Time to find this sucker. Hey, there he is. Ah, and here you are already. Zathrian, what are you doing here? You have carved a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. You mean you wanted to make sure I got the heart? Just so. Did you? Uh... No, I didn't. You didn't. May I ask then, why are you leaving the Looking room? for you. Send to bring you back by the Lady of the Forest. Oh, is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? Uh, she won't summon Weatherfang unless you break the curse. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? Sorry, what? I uh, I thought well, their fang was a male wolf. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and wither fang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. Uh, okay. But it came from you, man. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. Let's not just jump to any conclusions. Let's just... I'm... I'm the werewolves still have their minds, man. I Even mean, so, they, they still they are still the same worthless people. creatures They're that their ancestors were. They're just losing their sanity, They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. Of this, curse. this is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. Fine, just, just... Let's just... Let's just... Why don't you consider at least talking to them? Let's just... Why? You claim they have regained their minds, but they are still savage beasts. Their nature is unchanged. Don't be stubborn. All they want is revenge. Bald. Or a release that I will not give Being them. Being butthurt. No, let us take the heart and end it. I'm just... You still had hatred for them all this you time, were man? Not there. I mean, come on. You did not see what, what... What they did to my son. To my daughter. And so many others. I know. You are they Elven. told you me. You know what it is like to have injustice thrown in your face. Their crimes could not go unanswered. But they, they were committed centuries ago. Come on, man. I remember them over it. Well, yesterday. Even if they are more than animals now, they desire nothing but revenge. They will never let my clan be. So your answer is just to let them suffer forever? Tell me. If you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? I might have, but who's being punished now? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? I, I'm pretty sure it won't go to that. I failed they just to want to talk. They want the curse removed. 
They're all like take well. drastic it actions been many as they need to. Now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. All right, Let's bring them back. Whether well, this just will end peacefully is an entirely different matter. So here you are, spirit. <laughs> she is the lady Whoa, of the forest. That's you really will address her comfort. properly. You've taken a name, spirit, and you've given names to your pets. These beasts who follow you. It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian, and the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. Down, boy. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? Uh, summon you and ban you to the wolf. That's all he told me. And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Oh, great. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! Oh, great. So, how far will you go for revenge, man? I did how it far? for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! Oh, crap. For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way. Uh, this... This is... Uh, no, no, no. I gotta... I'm not gonna help him. I'm not gonna help him. He, he, he started this curse. He, he's making people suffer. I can't do it. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Oh, come on. Wait, why is Swift Runner glowing? I don't get that. Come on. Oh, great. Giant tree monster. Kick you in the net. Slice you a bit. Crap, no, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Left. I'm gonna need a little bit of help here. Ah, yeah, oh, crap, I'm stunned. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him dead. Yes. No, no more. I, I cannot, cannot defeat you. Finish it. Kill him now! No! Don't kill him! Please, lady, stop him! No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, Spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I cannot do it. Just... Hasn't it gone on long enough, though? Come on, man. Just, just go and Perhaps peace. I have lived 
too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. This is very, very complicated. You shame me, Spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end to all. This is, is kind of sad, not gonna lie. She's withering away. God. Hey, they're back to normal. Whew, thank God. Ah. Did it's it. over. She's gone. And we're human. I can scarcely believe it. It's... It's... Don't worry, it could be a lot worse, man. It could be a lot worse. Compared to the beast inside that we had to fight every moment, this is just fine. It feels glorious. So what are you going to do now, though? I mean, you're going to... You know, make me regret this, or...? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We... We'll never forget you. Yeah. Alright, we did it. Time to go back to the Dalish camp. Whew! Raise a day. Raise a day. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, come on. Don't mess with my dog, Alistair. Come on. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh, come on. Don't be a jerk. Don't listen to Alistair, he's full of rubbish. Hey! It's true. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Uh... So... How did you become a Grey Warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. I do my best. <laughs> what can I say? Let's see, I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. Uh, you were... You don't really seem like the religious sort. You're telling me I was banished to the kitchens to scour the pots more times than I can count. And that's a lot. I, I can count pretty high. Yeah. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually. And was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. You think... Alright. You think this is better than being a Templar? Oh, I suppose the Chantry life is good enough for some. Here, we have the chance to fight against the Blight. To actually do some good instead of sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... 
I wouldn't have. Just, he was a good man. He was. A good man who didn't deserve his fate. That much I'm sure of. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to bring that up. I'm sorry. Did you always live in an alienage? Was it very terrible? Um, I had my family there. There was some joy. That is good to hear. I have never been to the Denerim alienage, but I hear that life is hard and there is so much squalor. In Orle, most Alvin servants live in the homes of their masters, often in great wealth and luxury. Uh, rather live um, free and squalor than be a slave. They are serfs. There is no slavery in Orle. I see. Elven servants are well compensated for their services. Some of them live richer lives than humans. A well-trained elven servant is highly valued in Orle. They are nimble and dexterous, and many people find them pleasing to look at. Hmm. So, like some sort of prize point. Uh, should I offer myself to some Orlesian noble? No, I did not mean it that way. Oh. My words were clumsily chosen. I did not mean to offend. I... Ugh, I am sorry. It's... it's... it's fine. It's, it's fine. I'm more than an elf. I'm a person. Of course. I am sorry if I implied otherwise. Thank you. You have given me a lot to think about. Plus one. Yes. Uh... What were you doing in that cage? Sitting, as you observed. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Thank you. Are you going to answer my question? I did. Parshera, was there anything else? Yeah, fine, whatever. As You're you impossible, wish. Mike. You are impossible. Stand up, plus plus seven. What? What do you wish of me? Uh, I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Uh, have you ever been uh, hunted by the Chantry? <laughs> you are very cute to ask so many questions. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm glad you think so. And I am glad you are so glad. <laughs> My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Uh, fun? You found it fun? <laughs> I found the game fun. I was too young to understand the truth behind what was happening. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait. <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Flemeth used you as bait? It was a game and I a young girl. If I didn't get to play, I would have been very upset. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Do you still think it was fun, though? I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear. And I think that it was necessary. There are no trials for apostates, no prisons, no mercy. There are only absolutes, so only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, absolutely, there are. There are far worse things than death. No, no, you're probably right. <laughs> an enlightened view, or at least an agreeable one. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. All right. I'm going to pause it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what game you guys want me to play next. All right. Peace and out. Bye.